additional day three of testimony in the murder trial of two month old Dylan Groves. His parents are accused of his death. 13 News reporter Hannah Getz has been following this story since June and was in court again today. She joins us now live from the Scioto County Courthouse with the latest. Hannah. Rob Jennifer, good evening. This morning, a Scioto County Children's Services caseworker assigned to Dylan's case was questioned by both prosecutors and the defense. It was a lengthy overview of the timeline of baby Dylan's short life and also insight into the pressures put on the children's services system. Patricia Kraft, Dylan's caseworker who asked not to be on camera, stated the Groves had missed a number of court hearings and doctor's appointments. No, the last day I seen Dylan alive was March the 28th. Near the end of April, with Dylan still missing, Scioto County Children's Services took custody of the Groves' other 14-year-old son. A week later, the caseworker filed a missing persons report with the county sheriff's office after repeatedly failing to make contact with the Groves to check on Dylan's welfare. It wasn't until mid-June that Dylan's body was found at the bottom of a 30-foot deep well. The caseworker states she did everything she could under the law for Dylan, including suggesting an Amber Alert. She was told no. And supervisor stated that if an Amber Alert goes out, it would give a bad reputation for the agency because we lost a child. In the afternoon, the jury heard a very emotional testimony from Dylan's foster mother, Andrea Bowling. Shortly after taking the stand, she broke down in tears. Let's go ahead and take our afternoon recess at this point. The judge called a short recess, and when court resumed, it was very clear that although Dylan was in Bowling's care for a short period of time, she cared for him very much. Yes. And when she was told that Dylan's father, Daniel Groves, was getting physical custody of the infant back, I gave him a Bible. Okay. If you ever need anything, just call me, and I gave him my phone number. Did they ever reach out to you after that? No. Bowling's testimony seemed to be difficult for many in the courtroom today, but the tougher questions were directed at Children's Services in their decision to return the baby back to his parents. Court will reconvene tomorrow at 9 a.m. Reporting live in Scioto County, I'm Hannah Getz, 13 News, working for you. Hannah, thanks so much.